Well, thank you for having me. I can't believe it's already time for Barry's first 100-day report card. Oh, I know. It seems like only yesterday he was inaugurated. The second term is just flying by. So, how's he doing so far? Now, I know he had some struggles his first term, but I figure since he was more past and moved up a grade, he'd be fitting in better with his peers by now. Well, we'd hope that too, but uh, unfortunately, Barack still doesn't seem to be living up to his full potential. What do you mean? He started stimulus programs in math class, which restored the worst economy since the Great Depression. Uh, he cleaned up wars the previous class started. He's made enormous headway with uh, gay rights. The Glee Club loves him. <laughs> uh, he got good marks in health class when we started Obamacare. He established the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. And why he even helped that little husky New Jersey kid with the Sandy Project. Yes, but Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Obama, those were all accomplishments from last semester. You do realize he's had to deal with an enormous amount of bullying from his classmates. Bullies? Now, do you know how many times little Johnny comes in here crying? <laughs> the Boehner kid? <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. That little crybaby is the worst bully of them all. Barry tries to play nice with him. Look at little Chucky Hagel. And they pounce on the poor little guy. Well, yeah, let's look at some of Obama's uh, president student, con uh, student council nominees he's chosen. He's chosen now Ernest Liu, uh, J Ernest Monez, Jack Liu, John Kerry, John Brennan, Mrs. Obama. He's, he's losing points on his diversity report card. <laughs> he is considering Penny Pritzker for conversation. <laughs> oh, Pritzker. That's not going to raise the grade. <laughs> he did appoint that woman head of the Secret Service. Who's been holding kids' heads underwater at Guantanamo. Allegedly. Now, come on. If Congress wouldn't filibuster every time he uh, picked someone or roughed up his nominees, he'd have more leeway to take truly aggressive people. Oh, Mrs. Obama, I know sometimes kids can be mean, but he can't keep using that as an excuse not to get his work done. Every day, Barry shows me the legislation he tries to pass. And every day, the other kids tear it up and throw it in the mud. Well, let's look at some of what he has handed in. Now, I gave him an incomplete on the fiscal cliff math assignment from last semester, and he turned it into this sequestration project, which, well, I have to say, was just a mess. Now, he's promised to show me his work on some other projects, but I, I don't think he's being transparent with everything he's handing in. Are you saying he's cheating? No, now I'm not saying that for sure, but this situation with Benghazi and his obsession with drones has got me worried. I'm concerned he's going to use them inside the school on our own students. <laughs> now, Mrs. Obama, he really needs to, to pull it together and hand in his work better. Well, I've told him to be careful with the drones. I mean, he's hanging out with the Pentagon and the CIA kids. Uh, the, I told him he can't bring them to school. Where is he getting these toys? <laughs> yeah, I guess he's not listening to me. Um, the other class just left him around, and frankly, I'm really concerned he's becoming a little too enamored with it. And right at the time where he could really come through on classroom super soaker regulations. No, Mrs. Obama, he can't keep letting these important projects languish. He is still doing okay in his AP class, though, isn't he? Well, the Actually Progressive group is a little upset that the Keystone Pipeline has yet to be stopped, but they're going to give him a little leeway to see what he does with immigration. Now, Mrs. Obama, so far I'd have to give him for this semester a C-. minus. You see that, honey? <laughs> and you thought you were getting a D+. Plus. Actually, he was, but, well, his classroom presentations are just always so, so good. 